to today's video. Whoa, his hair. I look like a lion. We gotta start with some love from our sponsors over at Huel. Huel, stop <laughs> Huel is a 100% nutritionally complete meal. Huel contains 27 essential vitamins and minerals. High in protein, low in sugar, and salt. It's an easy source of fiber and made with natural ingredients. So easy to keep on track of your food goals. And it's this easy to make. I think she's hot. Woo. So you can make it in the microwave, but you if you have a kettle, you can also make it with the kettle, which I love this because when we're camping all the time, we always have a kettle with us, so it's super easy to make. So some boiling water. So add some water. And then we're gonna cover it and let it sit for five minutes. Today we made the mac and cheese. I'm so excited, but next time I'm gonna make this pasta. Pasta. There's Mexican chili. Oh my gosh. Noah loves curry. All the time I walk in the kitchen, he's literally cooking something with curry. <laughs> so he's gonna love this. Guys, you need to fuel your body every day. Every day, put something in it that's fuel. Fuel contains all the goodies you need to fuel your body each day. With your first order, you get free shipping, a fuel t-shirt, and a guide to get you started. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, we have not done almost any plant-based meals. And this one is awesome. It's the best one I've ever had by far. There's so many flavors, so many options. It's quick, it's easy, it's efficient. Check out, I'll put all the links in the top of the description. Go over to Fuel, check them out, get fueled up, let's go. Loud mouse right here, good morning. Hope you're doing so, so wonderful. Brittany and I are gonna try something today that we have never ever tried, ever. We're gonna get some babies, I mean <laughs> oh. not. Well we've tried that. Not get babies, we've gotten babies before. We're gonna try and make babies. Not make babies. <laughs> We're gonna try and hatch babies. As you guys know, in our last batch of babies, we had a rooster and we decided to keep that rooster. And uh, it's to the point where I think we got uh, we got a really cool little incubator. I'm gonna show you guys that soon. This may interest none of you. But it's kind of fun for us. We're gonna attempt this and see if we can get some baby chicks. But we got an incubator and we got lots of eggs. So we're gonna put a bunch in and see what happens. Worst case, nothing happens and we eat the eggs. So if anyone has a hookup on mealworms, <laughs> let me know, cause this bag's $80. $80 a bag. How much, hey, how much to eat one of those? Free, I eat them I all the time. I dare you. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Trying to escape? This is why it's $80 a bag. Look at them. That's all they want. I only have one egg today. <laughs> They've been producing like so, so good. We did turn the heat, light, the heat lights off. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Um, so we have one egg, but we have some inside. So let's see, yeah, this one's nice and warm. Like warm. You have a flower on the end of your camera. Huh? You have a flower, go look in the mirror. Huh? Oh. All right, let's see it. We've never, uh, we've never done this. I'm so excited. So last time I had to go get chicken feed, they had not very many chicks and they had sold like 1500 chickens. 1500 in like a couple days. So I'm like, okay. I don't know if you guys are aware, but the price of eggs have went through the roof, which has caused uh, chicken sales to go crazy. You guys know we've had chickens for many years now, but we went in to look at the chicks at the store and they said they've sold 1500 of them in just a few days, which is crazy. Right? So everybody's like, eggs are going through the roof. We might as well get our own chickens, so. By the way, what do you guys think of Brittany's hair? So Cora has been obsessed with Moana um, and I had to crimp her hair because curling it isn't curly at the top like Moana's hair. So I had to crimp her hair this morning and we had to be twins, so. I like it. I'm Moana. So did you know, honey, nope. did you know that eggs have to be turned three times a day nope. for I think, for seven, no. Seven days is when you can candle them and see if there's like an embryo. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's a candler. Whoa. So I got the one that has the automatic turner and the candler on top. You don't need something this like high tech if you wanted to try it. But I don't remember things very easily, so I wanted something <laughs> with an auto automatic turner because you have to turn them three times a day. That's like a lot. Well, you got your own chicks to take care of. Yeah. Guys, I'm not even sure if I've ever seen an incubator. Like, I, I I, feel like I had one as a kid, but I don't remember it. This is like cool looking. It looks like a good place to hold some ears of corn, too. <laughs> I 
I watched the video. I know what I'm doing now. I'm a pro. Okay. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> okay. So we have to put this little thing in here so it turns our eggs so I don't have to come every six hours, wake up in the middle of the night to turn eggs. We're going to fill up number one. Hey, why don't you just fill it up here, Goofy? I don't know. This is the way he did it in the video. <laughs> I mean, once That's it's full. That's full, right? Sure. Okay. That's full. So I guess on day three, which is like the last three days, then I have to fill up both of them to get it really humid in there. He had, like, everyone that I've watched videos of has them, like, dated from what date they are. They have them, like, different, all the different colors are different types of chickens. But I didn't really know I was doing this until, like, a few days ago. So, we're just going to wing it. <laughs> we don't know which ones are going to hatch. I do have a date on the one that I got. So, from the one I got today, I have a date on it. So, I know if that one hatches, it's the one that was still warm, nice and clean from the coop. So you want to take them nose down. This is going to be crazy if we get some chicks. Oh, we're going to get some chicks. These are big eggs. Yeah, they are big. Oh, gosh. You put the point down? Look how big this one is. What if two chicks come out of this? <laughs> Twins! Put, you put the point down. I don't know. Like, they're going to be all different types of chickens, yeah. right? Yeah, it's just a big old mix. Can you imagine the day though, where you have all these eggs in the bottom of this thing and they start cracking out and little chicks, oh man, that would be awesome. 30 potential chicks. Even if you got half, that'd be 15. I think most people, well, so at day seven, I can candle them and see if there's any embryos. Yeah, cause you don't even know if these are fertile. Right. So this only works if the egg's fertile. Oh God, we don't I know think? if these are fertile. What if I drop this? <gasps> coming out basically after a certain amount of time you then can put your egg on here and you can see the little the little red little red glow and that means it's fertile and that means we can have a, a baby chick turner, I plug it into this right definitely and then we can test the roll what's cool is I know some of you watching do this currently right now you you hatch your own chick eggs so if you got any suggestions I know we're just trying this right now, but I think this is something Britt and I really want to do. We want to actually make our own chicks and have a, I love chickens. They're so great. They're phenomenal. They're factories. Like one chicken is a factory, it produces this big egg every single day for you to eat. It's amazing. Look at that. Can you have them pull out? Nope. So just like test it like five times. Oh my gosh, those literally look like they're gonna fall out. Whoa, little roller coaster in there. That's so cool. All right, so it's just now starting. There's our countdown, 21 days. Patience game. I guess like on day, uh, when it has three days left, you have to like fill up both of these waters, take the eggs out of the little things, place them all over, not touch it until they're done. Like, yeah. He said some babies will come out, but you can't open it or do anything until they're like nice and dry and ready. So, so they're all out. I think on day three, we're going to set up a GoPro time lapse. Oh, yeah. And just wait for That it. would be so cool. My question is, how does 30, it, let's just say. Well, on day seven or whatever, we can candle them and see if there's embryos. I know, but what if you had 30? How would 30 fit? Like 30 would fit in there and they could all hatch? Yeah, I'm, I'm, my guess would be we get half. I guess we're going to get five. Five? Five. I would guess we get half. Predictions in the comments. We're going to hold you to it. How many out of 30 eggs will we get? Will we get one? Will we get zero? Will we get 20? It's already at 81 degrees in there. Dang, let me in. <laughs> All right. Um, make your predictions. What do you think? Um, I'm going to say... You said five. I'm gonna stick with five. I'm gonna shoot super low because I know how this stuff is. Even if you have 10, a couple might die and then you have eight. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go low. Low dog it. Yeah, I'm gonna say 12. It's a good number too. We don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna try our best. I think this is super, super cool.
how fun would it be to like see a little chi I don't know if you've seen baby chickens, but it's one of the cutest. The only thing cuter probably are ducks, man. Baby ducks just melt me, dude. I love you guys. Hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you're keeping your head up. I hope you're taking on them goals. Get after it. Imagine, imagine. And some of you, I, I wonder, some of you definitely have. Imagine if you'd started your goal way back when I told you to. Where would you be right now? You just gotta promise me one thing. You're not gonna wait much longer. You got this, you gotta do it now. You are beautiful, you are truly one of a kind. Smile more.